This is Star Talk. Uh, all right, here's another question from Susan Minobe. Uh, people often complain about the NASA budget and claim the pro- that private industry should take over some of the work that NASA does, but they don't do it already because the go- of government. But they don't they do it already because of government contracts. What percent of the NASA budget goes to private sector contractors? That that's the question. Uh, I don't know, but it's got to be enormous. Whenever you buy hardware, you're buying it from companies like Boeing. Yeah, yeah like just, uh, United Launch Alliance or what have you. Yeah, NASA buys stuff from a lot of companies, right? But in they the bigger yeah, picture... Yeah, contractors to work for them. They only have a certain number of people working in the NASA workforce. How much stuff is built there? I, I, this I well, don't know. If you, let's say you have a Mars rover, hypothetically. It's sure. machined. The metal is cut at the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, mm-hmm. some of it. The mirrors are coated somewhere else. The lenses are ground somewhere else. And these are all done by companies. But the fundamental... If I can read into this question a sure. bit... There is no, right now, there's no business model that takes people to Mars. There's no business model to find out whether the core of Jupiter has hydrogen that acts like a metal. There's just no reason for a private company to do that at this time. Even though I'm very curious? Well, yes. <laughs> That's and not enough reason. That don't put bread on a table, Eugene. Well, you don't know that because you might find something about the hydrogen metal that would affect the way we make uh, semiconductors or well microcircuits said. or something. Yeah. yeah. With that said, these things are all built by contractors. And the, then the crossover right now is the guys, the people who want to mine asteroids. And the... At first, it sounds sexy and fabulous and literally a shiny object to go to an asteroid and get platinum. Yeah. But apparently, the big thing they want to get on asteroids is water. So you take water and then it's fuel for your spaceship to keep going. So you, you have solar panels on your spaceship, your thing, your spacecraft. You get out there near the asteroid, you electrolyze water, make it hydrogen and oxygen, Put, somehow put it in a tank. How hard could it be in outer space? <laughs> yes, uh, I know millions of kilometers that. from here. Yeah, and then you would have fuel to go on to some other exotic destination, maybe to your platinum-bearing asteroid, and you drag that back to the Earth and get rich. <laughs> That's a pretty good plan. All right. 